guys, it's Sean with It's Tea Time 2010. This week's question was, what are your dating preferences and would you ever consider dating another FTM? Um, when it comes to dating, I prefer feminine women. Um, I enjoy dating feminine women not only for uh, their physical presentation, but also because of the gender roles that they take part in and how they make me feel. Um, being predominantly masculine at heart, um, I usually desire women that are nurturing, sensitive, um, flirtatious, uh, caring. Um, just traits that I, I usually find in feminine women. Um, many of the girls that I have dated have a number of other attractive qualities, but the initial attraction usually always starts with these. And um, as far as dating another FTM, uh, <laughs> I really I really don't see myself dating another FTM. I have found though that when I do say no or never to something, um, God has a funny way of putting me on the very path that I deny. Um, so I'm just going to say that this time I would not be interested in dating an FTM. <laughs> um, putting aside, you know, that I have a girlfriend and that uh, the lack of physical attraction um, to a male, um, I really think that there would be conflict in the uh, gender roles or in the roles of the relationship. Um, however, I could see myself dating um, an MTF if they had um, full surgery done and were fully transitioned. Um, I find that some gay and trans women actually evoke uh, more feminine behavior and characteristics um, than gender-born females, and um, I think it's it's this uh, f those feminine attributes that I find attractive, and that also help keep help me keep an open mind. Um, currently, I am in a relationship with a girl that is attracted to both sexes. Uh, when we first met, um, she considered herself to be half a lesbian. <laughs> um, I think she felt that there was just too much negative stigma behind the word bisexual. And, um, you know, I agree with her because for a long time, I was completely against dating a girl that was attracted to a male or that considered themselves to be bisexual. Um, the reason I felt that way was because I had a lot of resentment um, from self-identified lesbian girlfriends that would actually end up dating men um, or gender-born males. And, um, you know, this resentment was actually due to my own feelings of inadequacy and unhappiness in my own body and had very little to do with the women that just happened to fall in love with the opposite sex. Um, in any case, I find myself to be extremely lucky to be in the relationship that I'm in now. Um, I also find myself enjoying my girlfriend's um, sexuality, um, her sexual openness, I guess you could say. Um, that sounds really bad. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Uh, my girlfriend's openness with her sexuality. There we go. Um, not only because she is comfortable with my transition, but because um, her outlook has really helped me with my own insecurities um, with having a female body. And she's also helped me instill a new confidence in what it means to be trans and the potential blessings uh, that it can bring. Um, so yeah, I'm, I think I'm pretty fortunate. I know that there are a lot of um, trans guys out there that you know, I might have a hard time finding um, relationships because, uh, you know, you're kind of limited, you know, not just because you're, you know, male now um, doesn't always mean that uh, heterosexual women are going to be interested um, or they might be put off by the thought that you were born female. Um, and even the bisexual thing, you know, some, some people just aren't, aren't comfortable with that. Um, so, yeah. That's my take on dating preferences and such.
until next week. See you guys later. Bye.